It's the third and final parade home that I'm gonna give you a tour of today. So excited. This one looks so similar actually to our last home as far as the materials used, so let's check it out. Coming inside, um, this entry was so grand. Um, it in fact even had a baby grand piano and the railing going up um, for this uh, stairs went up to the second level and then this huge chandelier and the herringbone floors, lots of paneling. This house was super traditional inside. Um, and then there was this hallway with this cool arched opening that went down to this, another very grand space, which was the kitchen and family room area. Um, you can kind of see by the details how huge that range is and just the scale of everything that this house was um, just one of those that had, um, I don't know, it like reminds me of a, like a true mansion or something. Um, you can just see like the trim work, the light fixtures, um, everything was very white and fresh, uh, classic traditional kind of feel. Um, it was a little bit like museum-y, very, you know, it had a little bit of that, like everything's perfect feeling. This was actually one of the kids' bedrooms, so this gives you an idea of how perfect, I mean, like look at uh, look at all the detail in here. I mean, it really is gorgeous. Uh, they have that vertical ship lap, there's the grand bed. This was actually the nursery here, and this light fixture, and in fact, a few others that were in this house are ones that I had ordered last year for my house. I know I ordered my lighting way early, but I love that one. It's going to go in our dining room. Um, oh, and here's a peek at the primary closet. This room was really cool. I thought well thought out too because there was like the vanity area, a nice window bench, and just tons of storage packed in here, even with the drawers under that um, window seat. You can just see how beautiful the details were. Love that light. That's another one on my list. And, and really, um, it was cool because you could walk through this closet. Um, and then we're kind of going a little backwards because here's the bedroom that was connected to it, but this was a gorgeous space as well. Again, you can see it's a very white house. This was beautiful furniture though. I love this bed and that, that dresser and gorgeous rug. Um, again, still very traditional. I did feel like this house was cohesive as far as like the style inside and outside. Obviously, like I took my house a little different direction with the similar exterior, but this one has, um, I still felt like they felt they've worked well together. This bunk room was another favorite in this home. It had, look at all these bunk cutouts with the cool wallpaper detail in there and the little um, sconces. It definitely was a really fun room, but was still kept with that traditional classic vibe. And this is another bedroom. Like so many of these bedrooms were just so, um, what's the word I want? Just really grand for even being kids rooms. Um, it's kind of funny when you see the furniture in there because the ceilings are so high. And then this um, was actually down in the basement, um, which the bunk room was as well. This is their theater and they did it again in keeping with the style of the house. So it's got this really cool sectional. It's a little bit less typical than most theaters. Um, they they use the sectional instead of like theater seating, which I really liked. And then they had some built-in areas like this um, built-in day bed that was um, in one of the upstairs rooms. And then there was a guest house out by the pool area, which we'll look at pretty soon. Um, and it had this really beautiful workout room. I loved the ceiling detail in here. Just so stunning. Um, really this house has had impeccable detail in so many windows, which made it just really beautiful. It, this just definitely had an East Coast feel about it, I would say. Um, here's the, was the bathroom. They hadn't even gotten the shower glass installed yet. That was the bathroom that was attached to the pool house. This one was actually downstairs. Um, some cool fluted cabinetry and really detailed tile work and that fun window that you see on the outside. So that was on the main level. Um, and lots of marble, cause again, very traditional feeling um, in this bathroom as well. Uh, this was actually one of the kids' bathrooms upstairs. Some really fun details. They even had that freestanding tub. So a really, really pretty space. And honestly, um, I felt like, uh, let's see, this one was Cambridge Homes that did this one. And they really do a great job. This is um, in the basement bathroom just off of that room with the bunk beds. They had um, a pretty large bathroom there as well with this herringbone marble on the floor. And and so many um, just beautiful, deep, look at that, like crown molding and the wallpaper. This was just the laundry room um, that was, let's see, I can't remember if it was main level or basement, but they had a couple different laundry spaces and they were very, I think very well thought out and pretty. So I can definitely appreciate that. Um, 
I sometimes don't put as much detail into laundry rooms, but here's the other one. This one was upstairs and uh, it has, you can see even that cutout with the cabinetry, the hanging rod. I thought it was pretty cool. Like, um, especially if you are a person that like loves a good laundry room, these ones were definitely impressive. Okay, for my people that <laughs> know what I'm talking about, this looks like a cultural hall, right? And then they had like the mat over there in the corner where there you could do like gymnastics tricks. So the whole basketball court deal and all. There's a built-in desk area. Um, um, that was off one of the bedrooms upstairs and then this was really great i thought this was off of the kitchen um, a little homework room that was really pretty and i loved all the windows in here it was like an enjoyable place to be and it was well placed um, and then i liked the sitting area so like you know you could hang out there while your kids are getting their homework done just a really like well thought out layout uh, and then uh, so many doors to this outside area it kind of was a courtyard like where the house was built around this and this exterior part reminded me so much i'll have to show you um this other view out here that reminded me so much of our last home. This cedar shake is like so similar to ours. I love it. And then the pool was a really beautiful, that more like natural darker um, interior of the pool. So uh, just a really stunning, stunning space. You can see this is kind of the view that I was talking about that reminded me of um, the back of my, my last home uh, where we even actually had the diamond. Do you remember that diamond patio I did? Uh, and it was kind of tucked in there like this. It's such a, a fun look and yeah just a really beautiful place to hang out and again with that classic east coast vibe that I mean I just want to say I did build my other house uh, when was that 2017 I think was when we started it so I just want to say I was ahead of the curve oh here's the this was cool this is the um, basketball court that was outside so they had one in the basement and then they even had an outdoor one and then here's a look they had kind of that portico is that what's called where you drive through I don't think that's it but you know what I'm saying where you'd pull through and you can go in there and again here's that um, that cedar siding exterior with that arched entry they had some really pretty stuff going on and this is the exact combination which was so hard to find back in 2017 where I literally couldn't find an example of it where it was this light cedar shake with a painted brick combination and now um, you know here it is um, and of course that was that was what we ended up doing and I was really happy with it and really I didn't think the cedar needed as much attention as I had expected they are supposed to be restained periodically but I think you have like five to seven years or something so I I really love it. I love the authentic materials and such a fun home. So um, I will see you guys next time and um, let me know what you think about this house.